And good afternoon and welcome back. <laughs> welcome to another chat. Um, little challenge again, this technology stuff is getting interesting. My Facebook Lives, the camera, if you may have noticed in the last few days, the camera thing's been shifting a bit because I've been playing with some new ideas and not quite where I want it yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and just talk now because ignore, ignore what it looks like, just listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> So today I want to drop a little wisdom in the area of dating, especially first dates. And uh, this episode, by, by the way, episode number 964, if you're tracking the numbers. And I'll tell you the, the back end of this, where you find the replays, so you can catch all of my broadcasts, in case you're interested in those. The topic I want to talk about today, basically, is um, don't work, don't, um, what's it, what's it said? don't try too hard, as I said. Well, basically, don't take yourself so seriously on your first date. And I said, pace yourself. I mean, the idea was I wanted to help give you some tips on how to do this in a more enjoyable way. There's an idea. Enjoyable your first date. <laughs> That's going to be fun, wouldn't it? So this little um, insight is brought to you by some conversations I had recently. Actually, one um, earlier today. I can't remember the context now, but bottom line was is I was aware that these, pe these people are, and there's more than one person I was talking to about, I've had some experiences over the last, um, <laughs> in the recent past, I'll be polite. I mean, the dating experiences where they've had some less than stellar experiences with their partners. And what came up in the conversation was, it felt like when they were with their partners that these people were putting out so much effort, so much gravitas, so much impressiveness to be on the first date. That by the time of the second date, it was like deflating it. It's like you got a big balloon blown up on the first date, and it's like drooping by the second date. Not fun. And that's the thing a lot of us do. We've been trained by our culture, um, and I'm not saying which gender, because it's both, I would suspect, where we've got to such a perfect presentation on that first date, dress up the right way and be look a certain way, that by the fifth date, it's gone out the window. So my question to you, my, my suggestion to you, my invitation to you, is if that is, if you're experiencing this, what would it be like if you did your first date like you did your fourth date? Now, now let me qualify that. Mm -hmm. I don't mean in terms of your intimacy level and and uh, perhaps, um, well, I'll leave it like that. <laughs> I'm meaning the sense of how you carry yourself, how you bring yourself, how you present yourself. Meaning that it, we're, we're much more effective on dates in any experience, or even on interviews for that matter, for business when we are comfortable being in our skin. And for many of us, when we do these new experiences, if it is an, an interview or a first date or some other new experience that we want to make a good impression, we forget how to be comfortable in our own skin. As crazy as that sounds. Now, especially around the area of dating and relationship, if you're looking to be, if you're looking at the long game, put it that way, it's much more effective I believe, and of course I could be wrong, and you can let me know in the comments if you think I'm wrong on this. It's much more effective to start as you mean to proceed. As in, if you want to have a great first date, oh. <laughs> apparently I just, okay. that I just got Siri woken up. That was funny. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Okay, getting back on track. <laughs> If you treat your first date like your fifth date, meaning that if you go on to your first date enjoying being yourself with this person, however that's going to work out, and then by the time you get to the fifth date, it's the same, you haven't changed, you've actually become kind of reliable because what a lot of people do, again, is they put on such a pretense, and it is a pretense, or a facade, or a personality for their first date, that by the fifth date, that's fallen apart. And so it's sometimes hard to trust people after you've been on dates with them three or four times, because who they were at the beginning and who they are now aren't the same. That isn't going to work. So this is this may be a game changer for some people. I've learned this in myself. When I go on a date, I'm being myself. I've given up the fight. <laughs> I've given up trying to put on an act. I've given up trying to put on a pretense. I've given up trying to be suave and sophisticated. If that happens, it's purely by accident. But what I've become now is more authentic. And I'm, I am very clear that being authentic is much more attractive, at least to me by other people, hopefully I am to other people as well. But by being authentic and being true to myself, it's a lot easier to be consistent through all my dates and to be 
real with the person I'm with. Hey, the police are coming to get me. <laughs> There's a lot of traffic today, a lot of, a lot of um, sirens going by today, one of those days. Anyway, back on track. Hey, friends. Frank, what is it? It's not a race. Enjoy your date and relax. Be the same person you are all the time. Exactly, Frank. Thank you. And always... Always, I'm pretty sure Bostonian accent, though, winner. <laughs> you know, you and I have to have that advantage, so we can live with that. Thank you, there, Frank. I appreciate that. <laughs> That's not my ride. <laughs> no, not my ride. Thank you for that. Um, so the point I want to give, give you as a, as a teaching point this day is to, as I said in the title, pace yourself, you know, take your time. If you really want to go out and have some fun on a long, no, let me qualify this. Oh, we just went two directions. You may be somebody who just wants to go on perpetual first dates, and if that's what you want to do, no problem. But if you want to have a relationship that lasts more than a few dates, then pacing yourself makes sense. You have time to go through. Sorry, I just heard what we'll sound like a diesel engine go by. We have had some trouble down the street from us, so it might be coming for that. So the siren may be close call. Anyway, let me wrap this topic up so I can stop distracting myself. When we go on dates, if we're going on a date to be available for a long-term relationship, there's more than a few weeks, then we want to be centered and really, sent, really, um, what's we're looking for? Responsive as ourselves. You know, that is right outside my house. I might have to go check what that is. <laughs> <clears throat> Nothing I did. So basically, here's the thing. Take your time, learn how to be available for the right sort of relationship. Take your time and be available for a ship the way you really are rather than put on pretense because keeping that pretense going doesn't work. There's definitely something going on outside. I'm, I'm really like finding the urge to go check, but I want to finish my talk first. This is my commitment to you. So, to make this point simply, you can, in fact, have what you want when you take your time. And that really is my message today. So, I'm going to let you know before I do dive off of the phone and see what's going on outside. Um, all right, excuse me one second. I need to have a look out the window because I really am wondering what's going on. Hang on. Disappearing off the camera there. Yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? Okay. So that was not here, so I'm grateful. Because from this window here, things from many places around. Right. So wrap this up. Thank you for watching. Sorry for that blank space in the middle of my video. Because <laughs> I couldn't check out what that sound was. I must have gone by it. This is a vital piece of relationship. Is to take your time at the beginning. So you can pace yourself through the whole thing. That's really the simplest truth I'm telling you here. And if you have questions about that, you reach out to me. I can guide you with that. I've got a book on it. I've got a lot of teaching on it. And I can help you have what you want. Um, this is my daily Facebook Live. I'll put a couple of links in the comments that may inspire you, perhaps. So check the links in the comments afterwards. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, usually without sound effects around me. Um, <laughs> strange today. And I do go live at 5 p.m. Pacific time right here on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. Some of the time changes, but it's always, a, it's always every day, seven days a week, right here on uh, facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. Join me live. If you have any questions, you can message me on social media, of course. Um, replays, you can see on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. We can watch me, um, watch the replays and archives, although, to be honest, and please like my page. I'd love to, if you like my page, it'd be great. That page, though, only shows about 200 broadcasts because Facebook doesn't show all of them for some reason. However, I do have a backup plan, which is YouTube. If you go to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash user slash barryselby, Subscribe to my channel. There's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine. And if you go there, you can watch all of them anytime you want and sort through all the broadcasts. So that is about it. Again, links will be in the comments. If you have any questions, comment below and respond when I sign off. And uh, take your time. First dates can be fun, especially when you're not stressing over trying to be perfect. Take it easy, enjoy, and have a great dating life. I'll see you again tomorrow, same time, same channel. And as always, please take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon.